You'll be shocked to find out all of the amazing things you can do with five gallon buckets. And today we're heading into Walmart to grab some of their buckets. What I found with these specifically are number one, they are the cheapest you can find. And you can also find them plain white without all of the wording details or colors on them. So you can really get creative with them. So not only do I have some fun DIYs to do with you today, I'm also going to show you some really awesome contraptions and accessories that you can add onto your buckets to make them even more useful. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Shannon from the dailydiyer.com. Now let's get right into all of these awesome five gallon bucket hacks. This first idea is literally only gonna take you less than a minute to do. It is super duper easy, anybody can do it. You can actually turn these buckets into your own lanterns. So I headed over to Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree Plus section has some really cool LED lights. And this one is a puck light. It comes with a remote control, which is pretty cool too. And it changes into many, many colors. If you can't find these at Dollar Tree, you can also find them at Walmart as well. I found some for about $5. It came in a pack of two and it was also waterproof. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. But all you have to do is take your puck light, put it right down inside of your bucket, put the lid on and you have a instant lantern. So, so easy, right? And super duper cute as well. But you can also take this project up a whole nother notch and make it personalized with your own little design or decal onto the front. This one I created and I will have available in my Etsy shop. So if you don't have a vinyl machine, you can order one and create your own that way. If you have a vinyl machine, you can make and customize your own decal. And if you don't have a vinyl machine and you don't want to order one for my Etsy shop, you can just take a paint pen and draw a design on the front or leave it plain, totally up to you. But let me show you how easy it is to add a decal onto the front of this and see the finished product. So I am using a commercial grade matte black vinyl for this decal. I will link that down below for you along with the transfer tape that I use because I get that question all the time. But it's super easy to just peel this decal away from the paper backing, center it on the bucket, and then you'll press it down flat. Use something hard to really transfer it onto the plastic and then remove that transfer tape from the top to reveal your beautiful design. Um, I wanna mention too that since I'm using this commercial grade vinyl, it's also rated for outdoor use so if this gets caught in the rain or something it's not going to tear it up so you can also store it in a garage or a shed and it will still hold up i want to show you the cool effects of these lights um obviously you can still see it a little bit during the daytime but obviously at nighttime it's when it really comes to life. the colors are so bright and vibrant and i think it's really cool too that you don't have to take the lid off to change the colors you can just the remote goes right through the bucket too, which makes it super convenient. So if you don't wanna go running around to different stores to find these LED lights, I will have some similar ones from Amazon linked down below for you. Save you a trip to the store, make it really convenient. I wanted to show you this cool little gadget that has actually been pretty priceless to us. Recently, we started renovating our upstairs bathroom. And so this guy right here actually sits down into your bucket and has all these pockets around it to hold your tools. And let me tell you, whenever you have to truck things up and down the stairs, this has come in super duper handy. We also have a very small space, so this kind of keeps everything condensed and easy to grab and move around if we need to. Smaller tools around the outside, and put the bigger ones right in the middle. Our bathroom renovation it has really kicked into high gear, so if you want to see updates on that, I will have that video linked down below. And at the end of this video, it'll be a great one to click over and watch next. This one is pretty neat too. You can actually turn your five gallon buckets into a giant garbage can. And this is the dust pan for it. Super duper easy to do. It's got little feet on the back, so it makes it easy to just sit right down on the floor, stands up for you. You take your bucket, it will lock in, and then you can take a larger broom or even a smaller broom, handheld broom, and sweep your mess right into the bucket. This makes cleanup of larger messes a breeze. Now onto the next five gallon bucket DIY. So now we're gonna make something super duper cute. And of course we're gonna need one of those five gallon buckets. And then also at Walmart, I grabbed one of these really cute 
wood round signs. It has the wood beads around it, so a nice little detail. I'll link that down below for you too. And then at Hobby Lobby, I grabbed some of this macrame rope. You can find it at Dollar Tree too, but it's going to save you a bundle if you just buy this big thing of it from Hobby Lobby. Um, or you can head to the hardware store. We are actually going to remove the handle of this bucket, and I found it so much easier to take these 10 snips from Walmart as well, only $5, cut through the plastic and then just pull the metal handle out instead of trying to fight it out from the sides, bending the plastic and everything. So that's a little tip and trick for you to remove the handles because you're not going to see it anyway. We're going to cover it up with this rope, just using some hot glue. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. And now I want you guys to guess down below, how long do you think it took me to wrap this full bucket with rope? five minutes, 10 minutes, put your guesses down in the comments below. And here in just a second, once I get this whole bucket wrapped, I will share and reveal the actual time that it took me. After several sticks of hot glue, we finally made it to the top and then you'll just kind of cut your tail off at an angle so it tapers in and it will look like this. So it actually took me a total of 26 minutes and 55 seconds to wrap this bucket. A little longer than I expected, but it was kind of therapeutic and fun to see this all come together. So this sign from Walmart, we are going to take all the stuff off the back because there's some hangers and some rope and things and we want this to lay flat. So just take all that off and then you can set it right on the top and you've made yourself your own a little side table or ottoman but now as you'll notice i put this lid on top and then i was like oh you can still see the white on the top i thought really after i put the lid on that you wouldn't see it but you do so one more row of the rope onto the top make sure to go all the way up to that top edge and cover it all the way up so you can have a nice finish and as you can see not only is it an ottoman but it's also a little storage bin so you can keep things like small trinkets or craft supplies or t uh, blankets in the living room and as you can see honey was a really beautiful model for this this is her chair so it didn't surprise me that when i came in here she decided to sit right next to this ottoman let's see if you'll do high five will you do high five High five. Oh, that's a good girl. High five. Oh, that's a good girl. You're too smart. She is our little princess, and I am just loving the look of this little ottoman slash side table next to our chair. Really cute. Added some accessories and dressed it up and added some extra storage next to the princess chair. Next up is a five gallon bucket hack using a Dollar Tree car sunshade. So you can actually use these to insulate your buckets and turn them into a little cooler. And it is so easy to do. You just take your sunshade, open it all the way up, and we're gonna put the flat side on the bottom and just wrap it around the bucket. You can also kind of push the top little extra pieces down inside the bucket and then you can take some rope or string and just tie it around the outside to keep this all together and keep it on your bucket nice and snug. And there you have it. All you have to do is add your ice and add your drinks and you have a really affordable cooler that is portable. So that is one idea. Or you can find these cool bucket bucket coolers on Amazon, which I'll link down below for you. I thought this was so awesome. It literally is made for a five gallon bucket. So you put your bucket down in the bottom and then you pull the top over and it's actually got room for the handles on the sides. So you can still pick up your your cooler or your bucket and move it around if you want you can see it just kind of snugs underneath the handle and then it has a clip on the front to keep that all down very very cute bucket now too and then it's got a little zipper on the top so you can get in and out of your cooler and now obviously all you have to do is add your ice and add your drinks so tell me down in the comments below what is your favorite drink and are you familiar with ski? If you're from the Midwest, you may know about ski. It's a local thing and it is so, so good. One of my favorites. Um, and then all you have to do is just 
zip up your cooler to keep it insulated and nice and cool and keep the ice fresh for you. And since these buckets are food grade, you can even use the ice out of these buckets too, which is nice. And you can come in with one of these cool little adapters that I will link down below for you too, which makes it lots more comfortable to carry heavy things like these coolers. I also did a little bit of test here. I left the ice in the bucket for 12 hours. I wanted to show you how good it does keep your ice. It didn't melt all the way, maybe like halfway, so not too bad. And then here's a side-by-side -side of the cool bucket cooler versus the Dollar Tree hack. So depending on your budget, you could go either way. If you're gonna do the Dollar Tree version, I would recommend pulling the excess up and then adding your ice and drinks in there and then using the excess to kind of fold up over the ice and the drinks to keep everything insulated. Then I kind of sped through that cool comfort handle gripper. So I wanna go into more detail about that here. So what if you're outside and you're trying to move around some heavy items, say soil, rock, mulch, can be kind of uncomfortable. They also make these really great grippers and adapters you can add onto the handles. So not super comfortable with the plastic gripper on there. My husband actually said a lot of times he would put duct tape around the handles to make it a little bit more comfortable, but these things are so cushy. So definitely I will have this one linked down below for you. It just folds right on there and gives you much more of a comfortable grip so you can carry around those heavy items in your bucket. This hack is great for my baseball loving friends out there. And I also have a cool gadget that goes along with this. We're gonna put the lid on this bucket nice and tight. And then we're gonna take a hole saw. This is a three inch hole saw that we're gonna be drilling into the lid for. And I'm also gonna be using my Athena drill that was designed and created by my friend Natalie over at Design to the Nines. It has a cute leopard print handle and Tiffany blue glitzy glam color on it. And it still has a ton of power Power. I love this thing. I'll link that down below for you too. And all you have to do is take your hole saw and drill a hole right down into the lid of your bucket. And I made sure my lid was on there super tight so it wouldn't go spinning as I was drilling that hole. But the problem with these lids is they are so hard to get back off. But this little gadget that I'll link down below for you that is super duper cheap makes it so much easier to get these lids right back off of the bucket for you. Kind of gets you started for you and then you're able to just find a little pocket in there and then pull the lid the rest of the way off. This honestly is an invaluable tool um, to keep handy if you have a lot of buckets or store things in your buckets. We are actually going to turn this bucket into a baseball caddy. So I put the balls in there and then you can just take your baseball bat, put it down into the hole and you're able to carry your balls and your bat out to the field for practice or for backyard fun. So I saw lots of bucket ideas where you add a cushion onto it and turn them into a little stool. But have you seen these cool inserts yet? I had to get one of these for my husband for his garage. and He is a great mechanic. And so I got this one for him. So I'm having him demonstrate this for you. You just take this seat, which I'll link down below for you, put it on your bucket and it actually swivels for you, which is super duper cool and comfy to sit on. He is going to get some little wheelie rollers to put on the bottom of this so he can wheel around around the garage and use it. It's also great storage in there. And you can see the chair over to the left side there, the little office chair. That's what he was using in his shop. So now we have a little bit of an upgrade. If you made it to the end of this video, hit that thumbs up button and a big high five to you. I'll have all the gadgets and items that I featured linked down in the description box below for you. I want to thank everyone for joining me for today's video. Click on over to a new budget-friendly DIY video popping up on your screen, and I will see you over there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a creative day.